Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to another Spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminines. All right, y'all already know this will be general, so take what resonates and if it does not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I already got the timer going, so let's see what Spirit got for y'all. Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? What do you have for my beautiful divine feminines, Spirit? I say this at the bottom of the deck before I turn the um, camera on. <laughs> it's crazy. It's annoying. Annoying. Somebody's annoying to you. I'm getting that it's not you. Somebody's annoying to you. The truth will come out. And what the hell is this bent card? Dang. Now the truth will come out. So maybe somebody's been annoying you because they're not telling you the truth about something. We got in my own zone. So you could have like pulled that. Waiting for the truth to come out. Because you know the truth always comes to the light anyway. Like that's just how it is. The real truth. I'm hearing like the real truth. Look at this, yeah. The truth will come out in my own zone. I don't deserve you. Break up and we got sleeping with other people. So, yeah. What I'm getting is um, divine feminine, like I said, something could have been annoying you because someone wasn't telling you the truth. They wasn't keeping it honest with you. Um, you pull back, y'all could have just went through like a breakup or this is what caused the breakup because this person was sleeping with other people and they weren't being honest with you. They weren't being truthful. And this person realized they don't deserve you either. And like I said, it means you kind of pull back and you got in your own zone because this person just didn't tell you. But the truth always comes out. The truth always comes out. And people could be like just one person or it could be more than one. But um, they were definitely, um, you know, like sleeping around. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? What else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? time in nature and leading you on all right so divine feminine if this is bothering you like i said some of you guys could be in just this annoying energy it's like why won't you tell me the truth i feel like one of your biggest pet peeves is when people lie to you you hate when people lie to you um it just really you don't understand why it's like just tell the truth just be honest even if it hurts me that's what type of divine feminine you are um, you really need to take this time right now to ground yourself. Don't allow these things that are going on around you or things that people did, the actions that they took to affect your energy. You know, you got to stay balanced. You got to stay focused because you want to be able to receive your blessings that God got for you. I'm not saying we don't have our bad days, our anger days, our sad days. It's okay to have those days, but then you bounce back. Okay. Don't stay in that shit for too long. You know, spend some time with yourself, spend some time in nature, do some self-care, bathtub, you know, get in the bathtub, take a shower, girl, do something, okay? Do something that will relieve um, you of this this burden, like this stress, this, this um, just this, this um, question that's in your mind, like, why? Why? And then we got leading you on, so airplane coming in you feel like this person was leading you on okay you feel like this person was leading you on especially if they weren't just gonna like come out and tell you the truth all right spirit what 
Let's see what else on my beauty program. Feminine. So we got she knows about you. Mm. So whoever they were sleeping with, they know about you. I'm getting that this is who caused the breakup. Wow. People are shifty. So we got manipulation. Okay. And I feel like, you know what, with this person, like, oh, I don't deserve you. You deserve somebody else. That's a form of manipulation. Like, don't, try to, don't be trying to flip stuff. They could have also been, like, um, you know, telling you, like, you don't deserve them as well. Like, just whatever. It was any, it's just a form of manipulation. Trying to manipulate you to think, like, this was your fault. But whoever they were sleeping with, she definitely knew about you. So how? You know, and then that's what caused the breakup. Look at this blessing in disguise. That is so wow, y'all. This breakup was a blessing in disguise. And that's what I'm naming this video. Sometimes y'all, God be trying to keep y'all from certain things, you know? And you be wondering like, why it don't work out? Why it don't work out? Sometimes things be happening that you don't know nothing about, you know, behind the scenes. But the truth always comes out. Then we got control. And that's what this person was trying to do. Trying to control the whole situation. Have their cake and eat it too. Trying to be with you, but sleeping with other people. They don't want you to be with nobody, but they want to go out and do what they want to do. Leading you on, having you thinking that you're the only one. But God is the one that's really in control. I'm telling y'all that now. Y'all hear that airplane that just came in. That's confirmation, girl. God, it, and it's loud. <laughs> God is the one that's really in control, like, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But this breakup was a blessing in disguise. You know? I, I mean, it's just, that's just what it is. And I know breakups are not easy. But let me just say this. If you, I don't know how old some of y'all are. You know, I got different age ranges that watch me. But like, if you in like your early 20s, if you, if you like still in your 20s, girl, live your life. You you meet somebody, y'all be together for a couple. Y'all don't care if y'all was, I don't care how long y'all was together. Pick up the pieces and move forward, okay? I wish I could go back and pick up the pieces and move forward from Situations I stayed in for way too long. Y'all hear that airplane? I should have got the hell on first class flight out of mother life, okay? Because it causes you to lose yourself. It causes you to wonder why, you know? Am I not good enough? Am I ever gonna, no, pick up the pieces and move forward, especially when you're young and you, have, you still have time. There's still so many things that you can do with yourself, do with your life before you even think about, you know, being in a seriously committed relationship, you know, it's okay to date, especially while you're young, to see what's out there, you know. Don't put all your eggs in one basket sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't find true love while you're young, while you're still finding yourself, and you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But what I'm saying is, if somebody is leading you on, manipulating you, cheating on you, breaking your heart, don't keep dealing with that. Don't keep going through that cycle. Don't keep allowing this person to control the situation because that's what it is. If you're loyal to this person and you're in a relationship with this person, but they're sleeping with other people, but they don't want you sleeping with nobody, but they want to be with you, but they don't want you to be with nobody. They want to be with everybody else too. That's like, that's manipulation. That's trying to control it. That's trying to control things. So that's why you have to really find your strength. Like I said, get get grounded so you can find your power to be able to walk away gracefully, okay? To be able to heal and just be like, you know what? I learned my lesson, you know, I'm ready to move forward. I see now that this breakup was a blessing in disguise. I'm telling you right here, right now. I feel like God got you, like, God got you. 
he coming through. God got you. It's just, it's time for you to start healing. It's time for you to start healing from this. Okay, like I said, pick up the pieces, girl. Pick up the mother in pieces. This person does not deserve someone like you, you know, if this is what they're going to do to you. You are a beautiful divine feminine. A beautiful divine feminine. Don't ever settle for less, okay? And that's where I'm going to leave it at. Y'all already know what to do if um, this reading resonated. Hit that thumbs up button so we can get out there to more beautiful divine feminine so we can keep healing growing and glowing and i'll see you guys in my next one god bless